today, I thought it would be fun to hop in my time transporter and head back to 2016 and visit Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. So, let's hop back in time. It works. Technology is so cool when it works right. And from the Rio 2016 sign here behind me, it looks like it works just fine today. The fingers are crossed that the time transporter can get me back home. You're probably wondering why I've chosen to head to Rio. Well, it's simple. I wanted to get away, and tickets to the Tokyo Olympics were just not in the budget. Speaking of the Tokyo Olympics that are going on while I film, does anyone out there know how it's going? Let me know down in the comments. Back to why I'm in Rio. I figured the next best thing would be to travel back in time to the previous summer games. Surprisingly, Tickets were pretty easy to get for a few events in these games. Also, it helps out that Greenlight made a small tribute set of vehicles for the Rio 2016 Summer Games. And nothing so far has come out for the Tokyo Summer Games. Anyway, being a tourist here in such a beautiful, beautiful city, I'd better take advantage and see some of the sights like the famous Sugarloaf Mountain over my shoulder. While I'm seeing the sights, I think I'd better talk just a tiny, tiny bit about the city and the games since I made this long trek. The 2016 Rio Games provided the best possible environment for peak athletic performances with world-class facilities. These included a compact layout for the village and competition venues. The venues were clustered in four zones called the Barra, the Copacabana, the Didoro, and the Maracanã. These zones were connected by a high-performance transport ring, allowing almost half of the athletes to reach their competition venues in under 10 minutes. And almost a full three quarters could do so in less than 25 minutes. Of course, while visiting a city that is famous for beaches, I couldn't resist hitting one up. I had two that I had wanted to see, but just not enough time on this trip. So here I am on Ipanema Beach. Isn't this place just beautiful? Let me know who wants to visit here. The Rio Games put a major spotlight on one of the world's most beautiful cities. Rio is home to stunning views and a diverse culture spanning several centuries. Rio wants to transform into a global city and the 2016 Rio Games were the start of that massive transformation. I sure hope it works out for Rio. Time to head back to the competition venue and wait for the next Olympic event. While I'm there, I guess I could unbox some special commemorative green light collectibles. And this is the 2016 release of the Rio Collection Volkswagen Bus six car set. This was an M&J Toys exclusive assortment so it was only available by M&J Toys, and it was made to commemorate the Rio Olympics, the 2016 Summer Games that were held in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. Now, this was a sealed box, and I'm gonna open it up. Maybe we'll get a green machine, maybe not. Back then, they weren't putting quite as many green machines in the cases as they are today. 
So let's go on and open them up and see what we get. Now let's see what all is in this box. Not a green machine. A uh, lovely tissue paper in between. Not a green machine. Mm, not a green machine. Nope, not a green machine. Two more chances. And sadly, not a green machine. One left. What do you think? Any chances? Nope, not a green machine. Now these guys basically all had the same package. They had the same item number. They didn't even put a letter on them. So it was just one item number. No A, B, C, D, E, or F. Just the one letter. So let's go on and pick them up. Each Volkswagen is for a different country. So we'll start here. This first one is for, as you can probably guess, Japan. You can see the Japanese... Uh, flag symbol right there and then some other graphics that denote and are iconic to Japan on the side of the vehicle. This is the multi-window Samba bus that they had and it is a great little piece to start off the set. Again, it has this really nice Rio packaging and it commemorates the Olympics even though it doesn't actually say Olympics on it. Next up, we have a little bit later model, Volkswagen Type 2 bus, and it is for the United States. And you can see the American flag paint scheme all over this. Really, really nice paint job that they put on this one. Show off the stars and stripes. And right down there at the bottom, you can see the M&J Toys logo, because that's who these were made exclusively for, so they could distribute them. They only made 2,500 total sets. Up next, anybody care to guess who this country is? If you guessed Mexico, you'd be right. This is a variation of the Mexican flag painted on the side of a Samba bus. Isn't that sharp? And all of these countries were represented in the Rio Olympic Games in 2016. And this is another Volkswagen panel bus. However, this is the older version of the Volkswagen bus and it probably needs a little bit of an introduction, but maybe not. This is from Australia and it represents Australia. You can tell by the Australian flag on the roof, which unfortunately to see it right, you have to turn it this way. It has the Southern Cross and the Union Jack on it. And that is for Australia. They did very well at the Olympics then. This next one should be an easy one for anybody to get. Hand a Campmobile is a great vehicle for them. It is Canada. Don't you just love that maple leaf? Their flag is so bright and colorful. Really stands out and it looks great on this Volkswagen camper van. The old Campmobile that was made by Volkswagen and then they put the top on and they made the camper interior at Westphalia. <laughs> there were a lot of these out on the road back in the day. I still see one or two every now and then. And then the last one here, wow, oh, we can't leave them out. The home country, the host, Brazil. Look at that bright colors. Their flag is very colorful. Things in the uh, it's amazing that Latin America and South America, they really love bright colored things. They're, they're all about bright, loud, and really colorful, fun stuff. And look at this. That really shows off their lifestyle very well. A real bright, colorful Type 2 bus. Nice interior, nice everything. Volkswagen made one of the most iconic machines when they came out with the bus and the Beetle. And there's still quite a few of them today and look what a great way to tribute the Olympics 
I mean, in reality, the Volkswagen kind of is the world's car. And it has been, so what a great way. The Olympics demonstrate the power and the prowess of the world's countries, put them all together, and here we go. So, I think showing off the home country of the Rio Olympics, what a way to finish the set off. And that is the M&J Toys Volkswagen Bus tribute to the 2016 Rio Olympic Games. A great set of six different Volkswagen panel buses representing six of the countries, including the host country of the 2016 Rio Olympic Games. As I started to put them back in the box, I turned it around and saw this. It's at the back of the package and I thought you should see it. It is all of the countries and then it has the countries where they actually showed made vehicles. It's got the United States, Mexico, Canada, Brazil, Australia, and Japan. And they got a little flag and pointing to where each country is of the vehicles that they put in this set. Really cool. Collect all six to complete the Rio series. Neat set. There's also the Volkswagen licensing to show this is a licensed Volkswagen. Wow, this trip has been a blast. Visiting the Olympics. Visiting one of the most beautiful cities in the world. And talking about green light collectibles. I kind of don't want it to end, but like all good things, it's time to head back home. <laughs> Let's hope this works. Back in the warehouse. Woohoo! It worked. Guys, I know the green light set I reviewed was released back in 2016 for the Rio games and it sold out quickly but maybe we will get lucky and get a release to commemorate the future Olympic games remember I sell lots of green light over on my website farmtoysandmore.com and there's a link to it down below shop it now to help keep this channel running thanks for watching everyone please smash that like button and subscribe for more great diecast unboxing videos. This is Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Skill. I'm the founder of Advantage Diecast, and I'll be back soon with another episode of Toy Talk.